Now what is in my hand marks the culmination of the last 10 years, but it also marks the beginning for the next 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to the beautiful state of Arizona. Now if you guys did not see the video a couple months ago, I rented this house down in Arizona. We're spending the winters down here, which is an actual legit cheat code. The rest of the country is frozen over in a perpetual ice age. It is 75, it is sunny, we're just chilling. There's been a couple question marks raised on the legitimacy of my New Jersey temporary tag. That's because the leasing company is in New Jersey. It also expires in three days and we kind of sort of need to sort that out, but we got three days. <laughs> You're not a diva. You're just in a pink Aventador with white interior with sunglasses on. That doesn't make you a diva. I think it does. It kind of does. Yeah, you're kind of a diva. We're both divas. All the dealerships are all next to each other. So we have Audi, we got Porsche, we got Ferrari, we got Lamborghini, Porsche of North Scottsdale. I love the ruby star color on that Porsche. We got the Miami blue Macan. Don't get any ideas. Miami blue is one of the best Porsche colors of all time. I do not see any 3RS's though. We have a GT3 Touring right there with the red pinstriping. I love the idea of the Touring, but I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not classy, I'm not sophisticated. I want a wing. I remember when I was a little kid, the C5 Indianapolis 500 official pace car Corvette was like the coolest special edition ever. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of those in real life. I remember at Costco, they used to sell the 118 scale models and that was like my dream Corvette to get. I think the new 296 is such a cool car. I think it's beautiful from every single angle. The problem is it has a V6 twin turbo, but I think styling wise, I think it is beautiful. And then of course we have the Verde Shock Storado right there. This is blasphemy. Somebody copied my spec. An imposter right here. Talk me up, you feel a little bit better. You, you, you spec it really nice. Thank you, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. They copied me, that's exactly what it is. I I also have the pinstripe as well. We gotta go rally my Strato soon. What do you guys think of the new Maserati MC20? I feel like Maserati gets a ton of hate because of some of the other vehicles they make, but this thing is so sick. I think it's one of the coolest designed cars. It's also new, it's fresh, it's got the butterfly doors. It's a little bit maybe too pricey. I wanna say these are like $200,000. I feel like at like 150, it'd be prime. I had the Lusso a couple years back and I sold it for the A12 super fast. I don't think I ever told you guys my plan for this car was to cut the roof off and then I realized on a $300,000 car to cut the roof off, probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. In a V12 straight pipe exhaust with a convertible? Yes, sir. I realized driving the Aventador Roadster today was probably the worst decision ever. I have my pasty white Utah skin, and as Sophia coined it, my skin is turning into crispy bacon. Crispy bacon, and we like bacon. We're, we're fans of bacon, but uh, charred bacon, not a vibe. I'm not gonna put chapstick on my neck. SPF. I'm not, I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> Great on the nuggies, great on the chicken nuggies. Well, Aventador Roadster 1, Sophia 0. She has been beat by the light interior. Where are your diva glasses? I, I don't want to look like a diva. This diva driving the Aventador Roadster. The Rosa Kansas looks so crazy under the Arizona sun. So because of the size of the garage, we always have to back it in. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I just got off the phone with the leasing company on the Koenigsegg and they posed the question, do we go vanity plate or do we go standard plate? I think I wanna go vanity plate. I have four ideas that are, they're average, honestly. They're not the best ideas, they're not the worst ideas, but I want you guys to go on Vero and I want you guys to go like, comment, vote. Let me know if you have another idea. In the state of Utah, you're limited to seven characters. I know there's an incredible vanity plate idea out there. Go vote on my four and let me know what you think. But yes, on that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored. By Vero. It's been so much fun sharing behind the scenes car content with you guys on Vero. I have almost 80,000 followers on my Vero account. And looking at this photo of the HH Nixu Yagera RS from Hyper NFT, click the hashtag Koenigsegg. I'm not the only one posting on Vero. The car community is absolutely blowing up. And that's just one hashtag. Now in my last video on Vero, I told you guys I was gonna reveal three hints before revealing the Koenigsegg. And I wanna share with you guys what those hints were. So scrolling down on Vero, these three cars all have twin turbocharged V8s, just like the Koenigsegg. In this photo, all three cars have a thousand plus horsepower, just like the Koenigsegg. And in this photo of the SF90, it is color shift from pink to blue. The Koenigsegg is wrapped pink, and of course underneath, 
it is Monterey Blue. Now I've been on Vero for the last year and it has been so much fun interacting and engaging with you guys. Check out the link in the description below, download Vero for free and give me a follow. My username is at the Stradman. Now on Vero, there's no ads and there's no algorithm. As soon as this video drops, I'm gonna drop the four vanity plate ideas on my Vero. Go on there, go vote, tell me what you think. But then also I'm gonna drop another photo, a special render of my back cave garage in the state of Utah. I'd love to get you guys' feedback. Check out the link in the description below and join me on Vero. <laughs> Now you would have thought we would have learned our lesson with the events of a roadster, but it's too nice of a day. This car is a legit buy one, get one free. It's a two for one, baby. Now off camera, Sophia just asked, what does it cost to replace one of these? I don't think you can replace it. I, they don't make them anymore. Ferrari Pontefino. Four, five, eight, that's Rosso Dino. This is one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever seen. We just made a random right hand turn. Look at this G Wagon. It's covered in, the entire thing is covered in crystals. What are, are those Sawas Sawarski? Sawarski, Sawarski, well obviously we do not belong. <laughs> we do not belong in Sawsdale. Sawarski crystals on a G-Wagon. Welcome to Sawsdale. It's coming in action, look! Yes sir! It feels like it's our move, and I feel like someone's gonna take it away. Are you okay? Sorry about your, you're in a thousand horsepower Koenigsegg and Gara HH. Good. You're fine. That's the most diva thing I've ever heard. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to apologize to Sophia. You're not a diva. She's got a hair clip and the Koenigsegg is so violent, it hits up against the headrest. Are you okay? I'm good. Okay, she's good. As I mentioned at the onset of today's video, today's a very, very special day, and that's because of that unit right there. We gotta park her up. This is special, boys. We've done it. Now later this evening, I'm gonna give you guys the full backstory, the full story of how this came to fruition. This has been something I've been working on in the background for such a long time. And a lot of you guys might remember the Stradburger t-shirt that we sold a couple years ago. That was actually the inspiration for this project. But I always thought to myself, I love burgers. I love a bacon cheeseburger, but pepperoni pizza is the ultimate chef's kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Strad Pizza. Now I never really imagined when I was a little kid that I would open up a pizza restaurant, but here the unit is. We have signed a lease. We are committed. We are locked and loaded. I've been working in the background so many months for this exact moment. I realize it doesn't look it doesn't look that special, but trust the process. On the 30th of January 2024, welcome to Strad Pizza. Now I realize this space does not look that impressive, but in the future, like this man is an absolute legend when it comes to design. It used to be a subway. It was a subway. When you see it, you can't unsee it. All this stuff though, we're getting rid of everything. Like we are ripping this apart. In a couple months time, guys, this is gonna be the ultimate hangout place. I don't wanna take too much credit for this. Freddie is the brains behind this operation. Look at that, that smile. Like smile. And I love pizza. I'm actually the chief taste tester. That's my job. I gotta test every single piece of pizza to make sure it is top tier quality. But Freddie is in charge of more of the brains behind the operation. So, right over here we're thinking, this is the Strad merch wall. Right, 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 right. They get all the good Strad pizza drip, if you want to call it that. And I mean, as far as drip, I mean, come on. Another goal that Freddie has is to update my wardrobe because I've been wearing the same shoes, the same shorts. The merch, though, is fire, and Freddie gets all the credit. The Strad merch, the last couple years, has been off the charts, and that's because of this guy. And as you can see, this guy knows his drip. Freddie and I, we've been friends for what, four or five years, five, right? Five, five, five years. years. Freddie has never seen me film a YouTube video, he's never been on camera. You love it, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a amazing. ton of fun. Strad Pizza stems from this poster right here. So Freddie actually designed this base off an Instagram post. I saw it, it was the coolest merch ever. You guys loved it. I like burgers, but I'm a pizza guy. Act like you are employee number one. I walk here into Strad Pizza. I wanna give the audience an idea of what it's gonna be like, okay? I ordered my pepperoni. Come on, give me the shtick, give me the Pepperoni, steel. Hawaiian pizza, cheese of pizza, anything you like. <laughs> Right? Right, Freddie? Hire her. I'll take two. She's gonna be the manager. You got this on lockdown. Freddie does not make pizza. I do not make pizza. But in a couple months, we're gonna know how to make this pizza as well. We we're gonna be tossing dough. We know somebody that makes really yes, good pizza. Yes, we do. <laughs> Best pizza by the slice you've ever had. Now, there's really not that much to see here in the back vault of Strad Pizza. So I'm working with an architect and a general contractor. Demo should start in about two to three weeks. It's so crazy though. Your boy is a pizza tycoon. I'm a pizza tycoon. I make pepperoni. I'm basically a modern day chef boyardi. I am. No, I'm a restauranteer. Back here is where the magic is gonna happen at Strap Pizza. All the prep area, the dough, we got a couple industrial freezers that Sophia is creepily walking into right now. See you later. 
There's one more thing I want to show you guys here on the west wall of Strad Pizza. We have this giant Blake canvas. We're working with an artist right now to create just the coolest mural. We got four renditions I want to share with you guys, kind of get you guys' feedback. But this feature is going to be so sick. This is going to transform the entire atmosphere. Now I have four sketches from my homie Jack Soren. He's the artist we're going to be working with for this west wall canvas. You can see a bunch of his art over here. The guy is so incredibly talented and he put together four sketches really quick. Every single corner from side to side is going to be covered. You got a cool point of view right there. You have this one with the Aventador Roadster, Aventador Roadster. This one is a very like Miami Vice vibe, a little bit more closer to finish. I love this one right here. The Aventador Roadster, I really want that to be a part of it because my dad and I growing up, all we did every single day was eat pizza. We just love pizza. My dad was from New York City and I think making a New York pizza restaurant is going to be just the coolest thing to honor him. What do you guys think of these four sketches? Sophia and I were just having a debate. Say Strad Pizza in Spanish. Strad Pizza. Pizza. What is the word for pizza in Spanish? Pizza. No, there's no way. Pizza! Really? There's pizza everywhere! Isn't so it? it's in Spanish, strada pizza. That sounds Italian, strada pizza. Strada pizza. English, pizza, Italian. <laughs> pizza, 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 pizza. I knew it was pizza. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I didn't know it. I, I knew it was universally that. loved, but it's universally the same word. Korean's a little different. Pizza. Uh, pizza. <laughs> oh, my gosh! Let's go! <laughs> Hold on to your hands! Hold on to your hair! What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you hear that pop? Let's go. I'm going to try to get the timing perfect. We're going to hit 5,000 RPMs. Up shift. There it is. <laughs> That's our baby. She popping. So it's just announced today that the Tesla Model Y is the best selling car in the entire world. That car right there, that Jelly Belly. And I like Tesla. I have a Cybertruck on order. They are the best selling vehicle in the world. The Tesla Model Y, the Jelly Belly of all Jelly Bellies. That's kind of sort of sad. Everywhere we go. Say hello. Another one. They're everywhere. I would like a car that looks like a balloon. It deformed balloon. She said it, not me. Cancel this girl. Do not cancel hey. me, Tessa Nation. Cancel this girl. She called the Y a balloon that is deformed. I said a jelly it's belly. A jelly jelly belly. bellies taste delicious. Jelly belly. <laughs> Stop! The tight squeeze is coming, Zag, but just barely this garage can fit all three cars. Let's go! <laughs> hey, Blue Fox! You like pizza, don't you? Yes, you do. Pepperoni. Now, I want to try to give you guys the quick backstory on Strad Pizza. So, pizza has always been undoubtedly my favorite kind of food. And I always say, if I could only eat one kind of food for every single meal for the rest of my life, 100%, it is pepperoni pizza. And my dad and I, we shared that exact same passion. When I was in high school, we would go to Sabelli's Pizza in Bend, Oregon, three, four, five, six times a week. We get two sides of pepperoni get a coke and we just shared the best memories my dad and I have always loved cars we've always loved sports and we've always loved pizza so I don't want Strad pizza to come across as like this childhood dream where I want to be a pizza tier it's just kind of sort of worked out that way and it's super super cool we build cool cars we build a cool house and now we're gonna build pizza. Well, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Now we're on the hunt for the next supercar. I think a Porsche GT3 RS or another Ferrari, probably a V8 Ferrari. I think the 296 is cool, but it, I just don't think it can sound that good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We also have news on my Lotus Amira. We have news on my Tesla Cybertruck, and we have news on the Lamborghini Rovelto. But on that bombshell, today's video is over.